stage five, the marathon stage. So this is probably the most underestimated day of the entire week because like you've just done between 80 and 90 kilometers. It's like the pinnacle of marathon Basab. So surely a marathon is going to be like child's play after that, right? So I think a lot of people actually tend to, to underestimate this day, but a marathon is a marathon and a marathon in the desert <laughs> with uh, with 100 and I don't know 80 plus k under your belt at this point is is definitely no easy feat. So uh, yeah, look, the marathon stage started off um, a lot of excitement. I think people could kind of taste it at this point, and we were all just really excited to try and get out there and do this thing. And you know, it's 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 a very different experience because, um, you know, you're you're really you're sleep deprived at this point. You know, you're hungry, and you could be sunburned, you could have sunstroke, and your feet are in absolute bits. Like, I mean, my feet were completely wrapped. I basically had them like socks on my feet. They were just wrapped up so much, and everybody in the tent made at least one trip to Doc Trotters who are the, the medical team who are absolutely incredible but everybody went at least once with some kind of issue um, and they were absolutely amazing. The terrain um, on the day itself was pretty much as you come to expect at this point some flat riverbeds, rocky terrain, um, dunes, so many dunes and it's kind of comical at this point because your feet are in such a bad condition it is amazing the lengths you will actually go to to avoid stubbing your toe on a rock <laughs> you will walk around the rocks rather than over them or through them because god forbid you should actually hit off something at that point um and look the first 33 kilometers were actually really enjoyable i i really really enjoyed them they were a lot of fun um even the volunteers, each time you would come in, they would go, oh, how are you feeling, Sava? Um, you know, like drawing little things in your bottles to, to try and keep you going and keep your spirits up. You know, it was really, really nice. Um, ben was actually struggling on this day. And I, I was actually very grateful that I could repay him for how he had helped me um, on the long stage. So I kind of took the lead on this day. And it was hot like my watch recorded about 36 degrees somebody said it was 42 degrees um and you don't sweat much in the desert okay because it's so so hot and it's, it's windy a lot of the time as well but everybody was sweating this day and when we got to kilometer 33 i don't know what it is about kilometer 33 but um, we took a quick break to get out of the sun for 10 minutes and then when we stepped back out I was like hell this is this is tough it didn't feel like we'd had any break at all the sun was just blaring down at us um, and from about kilometre 33 to about 41 it was just pure hell um, it was just about getting through it and then as we were coming in um, we came across one of the organisers about one kilometre to go and he was blaring this music out of his jeep and he fist pumped us as we went by and at that point then myself and Ben started to feel it we were like okay we can we, we can taste it now you know so a couple of hundred metres away from the finish line we just looked at each other and we gave each other this big hug and then we just grabbed each other's hand and we ran in the last maybe 100, 200 metres across the line. And we cried like babies. Like, it was just such a special moment. Um, and essentially, look, when you, when, you, when you cross the finish line, Patrick Bauer is there to award your medal. And we just cried like babies um, and then we went and we got a cup of tea got our water headed back to the tent and everybody made it so that was that was pretty special 
Ben actually ended up um, going into the medical tent and going on a drip for a number of hours because he was seriously, seriously dehydrated um, at that stage. And it was amazing because even the feel around camp and everything, it wasn't like excitement or celebration. It was kind of a sigh of relief um, at, that, at that point. Later, later that night then, um, we had the award ceremony and everybody just kind of relaxed together. And then we all headed back to, to our individual tents for some well-deserved rest. <laughs> I've been thinking about whether or not to share this next piece, but I'm sharing my experience with you guys, so I think I will do it. Um, when, I was, when I was doing the long stage, when I was really struggling, when I was kind of by myself and trudging away, um, I started speaking out loud, not necessarily to myself, um, but to people that maybe I would have lost over the, the years in one way or another. So the way and I asked them for strength, essentially, um, on the long day. And after the marathon stage, when we were all back in the tents and we were going to sleep, um, about midnight, I think it was, uh, I was lying in the tent and there was nobody beside me, there, there wasn't a breeze out, it was quite a warm night and the, the tent was completely kind of closed at the back. So they're generally open tents but we had, we had closed it at the back and I was just drifting off to sleep and I felt what was very much like somebody just stroking my hair. Um, now I could have been delirious at this point like I mean like you know as deprived of everything as we were like it's very very possible uh, but it just didn't feel like that and it wasn't weird or anything like that it was very much uh, you know you can you can rest now you can rest and it was just I've never experienced anything like that before and anybody that knows me like I'm based in science I'm based in logic I'm you know, uh, th those are the things that I value. And yeah, look, I had just never experienced anything like that before. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it, but it was, it was different. Um, so yeah, stage five, um, full of unexpected surprises. <laughs>